you're watching this video, your subtitles probably look something like this. And you want them to look like the ones that Mr. Beast uses? I'll show you exactly how to make those and how to save them as a preset so that you never have to make them again. So once you have your footage in the timeline, you're gonna go to the toolbox and you're gonna type in text plus. Then you're gonna slide that into your timeline. Next, we're gonna have to pick a font and the font that Mr. Beast uses is called Comica Axis. Next, what we're gonna do is go to the shading tab, enable the second element, make it black, and increase the thickness. As you can see, this creates a nice outline for our subtitles. And the last thing we're gonna do in the shading tab is go to the third element, enable it, and then you can play around with the X and Y values on softness to whatever you like. I think this looks good. And now the last thing we're gonna do is animate the subtitles. So to create the animation, you're gonna go to the inspector. In the size tab, you're gonna create a keyframe. Go five frames forward. One, two, three, four, five. Increase the size to, let's say, 0.11. Then go another three frames forward. One, two, three. And decrease the size to around 0.1. And this will give us a nice pop in animation. What's up, guys? I have 10,000 presents. I so once you have your animation done, you're gonna go to settings and place the subtitles at the bottom of the video. Then what you're gonna do is go to the media pool, go to power bins and create a power bin for captions. Then you're gonna drag the text plus clip into your power bin. You can then rename it to, let's say, Mr. Beast caption. And now all that's left to do is to transcribe the video. What's up guys? So once you have your first sentence, you're gonna cut the clip, delete the rest, Hold Alt, and with the left click, you're gonna drag that text plus clip to copy it. And then just do this for the rest of the video. And once you have your text plus clips cut, you're gonna just go ahead and transcribe the video. And once you have your video transcribed, this is how it should look like. What's up guys? I have 10,000 presents, I have an army of elves, and I have a red hat. And a bonus step is to color the subtitles. So here Mr. Beast says he has a red hat. We're gonna go ahead and color the word red, red. So to do that, we're gonna go into the Fusion page. Right click, enable character level styling, go to modifiers, select red, go to shading and change the color to red. And this is how it should look like. And I have a red hat. Now, if you want to, you can do this for the rest of the subtitles. And once you're done, this is how the final product should look like. What's up, guys? I have 10,000 presents, I have an army of elves, and I have a red hat. To use the subtitle style in a different video, all you have to do is go to the power bin and drag in the saved preset into your video. This way, you're not gonna have to create the subtitles every single time. All you're gonna have to do is transcribe the text. And congratulations, now we can make subtitles just like Mr. Beast in DaVinci Resolve. Make sure to check out these two videos to learn something new about Resolve.